Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this evening's uh, Station of the Cross. Today we're going to be doing the 10th Station of the uh, Cross. Jesus is stripped of his garments and with us today we've got Jamie and he's going to introduce himself in a little bit. But for now we'll start like we do every prayer with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So would you like to introduce yourself please and where I'm about you from? What maybe you do as well? Uh, well, my name is Jamie Aegis. I am currently the chaplain at uh, Delisle College down in Loughborough. Uh, I'm also an RE teacher, so I have kind of two roles. Um, and uh, very kindly, uh, the Briars team have asked me to uh, share with you some thoughts in a minute um, for this 10th uh, station. Mm, amazing. So, as Jamie said, he's going to be sharing some uh, thoughts based on this 10th station. And then after that, we're just going to be having a little prayer uh, based on that 10th station as well. So, if you if you'd like to talk away, please, Jamie. Um, so uh, when Charles sent me through uh, the, uh, the fact that I had this the 10th station and it's obviously Jesus being stripped of his garments, um, I couldn't really think of sort of um, any sort of more humiliating thing. Now, obviously, at this moment, Jesus has been subjected to uh, more than any of us could ever sort of you know possibly sort of uh, think about or comprehend. But then to add insult to injury, there is this utter humiliation. And there can't be many other things that uh, subject human beings to that level of humi humiliation as having your clothes stripped off your back. What makes, it, what makes me reflect on are the ways in which humiliation happens in our world and the impact that it has on those subjected to it and what we as Christians should do to stop it. Every day we see evidence of people being humiliated whether it be through social media, where too often anonymous comments are made that have the power to publicly humiliate people. We see people humiliated by others because of their faith, because of their ethnicity, their gender, their sexuality. We see people humiliated through the breaking down of their cultures, the ways of life and the destruction of the places they live in. And in all these moments, the belief that we are created in the image and likeness of God is forgotten and ignored. In doing so, we lessen those around us and we lessen ourselves and we create a world where instead of trust and fellowship, mistrust and individualism are centre stage. In doing so, we also lessen ourselves and we become like those in the crowd who are happy to humiliate Jesus as he was stripped. However, and this is where we have to make a conscious decision, we need to be like the few individuals in the crowd who had the courage to support Jesus and to hold, help him hold on to what remained of his dignity. So the last few things I want to say are kind of really about what we can do in our own lives to try and make sure that we support the dignity of those in the world. Do we stand up for the rights of those who have them taken away on a daily basis? Do we use words that heal, not harm? Do we support the work of those who support the most needy, for whom it is a daily struggle to retain their God-given dignity? And do we treat ourselves with the respect through the choices that we make? And to finish off, I've thought about the, uh, the message of the parable of the sheep and the goats. And I think it's particularly apt when reflecting on these things. Because Jesus says, whatever you did for the least of these sisters and brothers of mine, you did for me. Thank you very much. That was, you know, there's wise words and amazing words as well. And I think words we all, all can think about, especially in these difficult times. Uh, a lot, especially when there's a, a, a lot of humiliation going on in the world but you know we all need to be loving and caring just like them uh, it's just like that few people the few people in the crowd as well so thank you very much for that and now um, this next part is is the part of the prayer and there's two parts to this prayer uh, there's the thought um, of it as well that Jamie's going to read out for us um, and then the next bit that I'm gonna, actually going to talk about which is the actual prayer where the words will appear on the screen for you guys to join in with us so, uh, Jamie, if you'd please like to read the first bit. So, station 10. Jesus is stripped of his garments. In some ways, to get to this point is a relief because you know this is almost over. In other ways, it is terrifying because you know what is about to come. The soldiers rip the garments from your body and carry on mocking you. How often have I stood by while watching others suffering or to men, from to men? discrimination Jesus help me to see the people who are in need 
Help me not to judge, but instead do the right thing for the others around me. Amen. Amen. And we'll end it with a sign of the cross in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very, very much for joining us, Jamie. It's been a pleasure to have you on uh, today. My pleasure. Uh, make sure you guys are joining us uh, for tomorrow with the 11th station at 8 p.m., uh, same time as today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Bye.